The Mormon religion, known today as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has grown to include millions of members. The Book of Mormon remains the foundation of their beliefs. But what is the Book of Mormon about? European colonists and early pioneers had looked upon Native Americans as a great mystery. Who were they? Where had they come from? And how did they get to the New World? The Book of Mormon story answered common questions about Native Americans by giving an account of the former inhabitants of this continent and the source from whence they sprang. Joseph Smith wrote that the Book of Mormon told the story of these former inhabitants who were principally Israelites and that the remnant are the Indians that now inhabit this country. Where did the American Indian come from? Well, because DNA fingerprinting uh, uh, came about, that can be addressed. I've worked with DNA a long time. I understand the science. I deal with it every day. I've also been a uh, member of the LDS Church for about 25 years. Any Mormon that takes an honest look at the genetic evidence is going to struggle with it. It raises fundamental questions about what we call scripture, about the Book of Mormon. It raises fundamental questions about Joseph Smith. That is, is he really a prophet? We would hold up the Book of Mormon and say, this is an American history. I was convinced, totally and utterly convinced that the Book of Mormon was true. Therefore, the Book of Mormon ends with the Lamanites being the sole surviving race of people living in the Americas. This is why the title page in the Book of Mormon declares that it is specifically written to the Lamanites, who are a remnant of the House of Israel, and also why the introduction page in the Book of Mormon concludes that, after thousands of years, all were destroyed except the Lamanites, and they are the principal ancestors of the American Indians. Well, it was during my, um, my second year as a bishop that I uh, stumbled upon DNA research on, on Native Americans. The basis of the belief that Lamanites uh, were the ancestors or the principal ancestors of Native Americans is doctrine. It's church doctrine. It's, it's taught in the scriptures. The traditional view that I grew up with uh, of the Book of Mormon is that it, that it was a story of the people, and I think it's fair to say all the people, of the American continent. The crux of the issue is, is what's been taught over 170 or so odd years of Mormonism. And that, what has been taught, and it's very clear, if we go back and look at the records of what's been taught, is, is that the Book of Mormon is a literal, factual history of the people that were on this continent and their visitation by Christ and so forth. There's no evidence in the current leadership of the church that this belief uh, is changing. Um, even a couple of years ago, we had uh, the, the first presidency uh, dedicating temples in South and Central America and, and uh, informing the, the local Native Americans that they're descended from Lehi. Recently, new inroads in the research on human DNA has allowed scientists to determine the relatedness of different populations around the world. Children inherit a mixture of their parents' DNA, which is a mixture of their grandparents' DNA, and so forth. With each subsequent generation, that DNA becomes increasingly mixed and blended with DNA from other ancestors. However, smaller, isolated amounts of DNA exist in the cells of both fathers and mothers that do not mix when passed to their children. The father's Y chromosome DNA remains intact as it is passed down to his son and to his son's son and so on through multiple generations. In the same way, the mother's mitochondrial DNA also remains intact as it is passed down to both her sons and daughters from one generation to the next. Scientists are then able to trace these intact DNA markers back through hundreds of generations to determine ancestry. When the Y chromosomes or mitochondrial DNA are tested in hundreds or even thousands of individuals from two different populations of people, the results can be compared to see how similar or dissimilar these intact DNA markers are between people groups. 
Dr. David Glenn Smith has spent more than 30 years studying Native American genes. He has dozens of publications to his name. His lab at the University of California, Davis, is one of the country's leading test labs of Native American DNA. If you look at genes in Native Americans, uh, they came from their ancestors. They had to come from their ancestral populations, and those ancestors lived somewhere. Uh, you can look for those genes in Jewish populations, but you don't find them. If you look at genes that are commonly, most commonly found in Native American populations and those that are most commonly found in Jewish populations, they don't coincide uh, at all.